Let's make this gorgeous light up truck box for Christmas. Keep watching. Most of these supplies came from the Dollar Tree. We're going to take a triangle shadow box and several of these wooden ornaments. They come in packs of multiples. And then we're going to take the peel and stick vinyl. This came from Dirt Cheap, but it ori originally came from Target. It's like a peel and stick paper. You can use contact paper, you can glue down some construction paper or scrapbook paper, whatever you choose to use. But I wanted white in the background with a little bit of um, like shine to it so that it would reflect the lights that I put inside. So to take this apart, if you just gently press down on the corners and lift up on the frame, it should come out pretty well for you. Then you can just peel off the frame, all those little pieces of paper that didn't come off. And then I went ahead and started peeling the paper off of the sign. After peeling it, you can get a sanding block or a little bit of sandpaper and just go ahead and make your surface smooth so that you can put your peel and stick vinyl on there and you won't have any problems with bubbling or raised up areas. If, there, if it's a flat finish, then you don't see that stuff too much, but if you have any shine or reflection on the paper, then you will see that you'll see any bumps underneath it. I'm just using the back to trace out my paper. Then I will cut it out. Then you get your fingernail between the edges of the paper and the backing. And then just carefully put that on. I've never tried to sand vinyl, so maybe you could. Um, I'm not sure. If you do know whether or not you can sand vinyl, you can put that in the comments. It might help someone else. Gonna use my wooden ruler and just flatten this out, get the bubbles and ridges out. And because it was sanded underneath, I have a nice, smooth finish. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to put the frame back down. Oh, and I also used some Fix-All. Yes, I did. I remember when I did this, which is just last week, that I wondered if I'm not used to working with vinyl, so I didn't know if the hot glue would stick or if it would pop off like it does on glass. So I used a little bit of Fix-All and it is still together. Fix-All is for long term hold and the hot glue is just going to keep the piece together while I get it all assembled. And I had a little bit of hot glue come out and I'm just cleaning that up with some tweezers. So in order to make this three dimensional, I need to have something to hold them up and out. So I use these little blocks that came from the crafters area in Dollar Tree and they'll work great. You're going to take your ornaments and place them inside in the position that you would like for them to be in. I always do this before I glue anything down. I want to be sure that everything is placed where I'd like it. I want to take this tree and cut it down because I want there to be some 
variation in the height. And these two little trees with the holes are going to be on the outside. I think the light will shine through them nicely. I'm going to use some dull scissors that I have and just kind of scratch into the surface where I want my edge to be. In my mind, if I did this, I could just bend it and it would just snap an even line, but it didn't quite do that. It needed a little more a little more attention, so I got my bull nose pliers thanks to a watcher who informed me that that's the name of these pliers. I got those and used them to trim up the edge. And then I'm just going to sand it down so I don't have any splinters or rough edges. And so now I have a smaller tree to put on this edge. All right, now it's time to get these in order. Now, if you use the tower blocks, they're a little bit longer and they are thinner. So you can see there's a difference in the, in the size there, which will make a difference in the depth when you put these down. So they will be layered out and not sitting on top of one another. So it creates shadows and light. And that's what I want in this light up shadow box. Makes sense, right? Okay, you can get a string of lights from Dollar Tree if you like. These are just the ones on the copper line. I got these from Dirt Cheap, and they're essentially the same thing, but they originally came from Target. Now I'm going to use the hot glue. Didn't use E6000 on this. Just a little hot glue to tack it down. It doesn't weigh very much. We won't be touching it a lot, so it should stay there. If not, I'll fix it later. I got a new tripod for my anniversary, and it attaches to the table. So my angles and my filming should get much better soon. So if you've been around since the beginning, seeing all these wonky camera angles, then... I thank you for your patience. Hopefully it's going to get better real soon. I'm going to keep trying until I feel like I get it exactly like I want it. And we're just layering. So the back is one layer. The Christmas tree that is solid is the next layer. Then the truck. And then when we get to the outside, these two trees are the outside layer. Cute so far, right? Looks like he's riding through the forest picking his Christmas tree out. So here are the lights. I've got my batteries in and checked them before I went through the process of using them. Always do that. Check your lights before you use them. Otherwise, you're going to have to disassemble the entire thing. And that's just, that's a pain if we can avoid it. So... Excuse me, getting in the way a little bit. At the end of this line, there is, you can see there, there's some area where there is no light. And I'm using that area to go around the bottom of the box. And it's just a piece of that thin wiring. So the box will still sit flat. It, won't, it doesn't have any bulkiness to it. I'm just taping that down for now and then pressing down the lights and winding them all through the back layer. 
And because this is on a thin wire, it, it's really easy to move around and manipulate. You can just press it down and twist it around wherever you want it. At the very end, there's a little light all the way to the end. So I went ahead and put that through the hole in the top of the Christmas tree. So there's a little uh, light up Christmas star on one of the trees. I'm just pressing that a little to the side so that it will secure itself. And then you want to be sure that you hide all of your wiring behind it. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Isn't that adorable? It's like a sunset behind the forest. It's very Scandinavian looking to me because there's no bright colors or anything. But of course, if you like bright colors, then feel free to use some some wild scrapbook paper and get your acrylic markers or your paint and color your ornaments before you put them down. You can even use flashing colorful lights if you like. So I'm just fixing a little area on the back with some glue and a piece of wire and a piece of paper that will hold my battery pack. I don't want to glue it down. And this way it's secured to the back and I can easily remove it. And I can use this triangle or this box for another project later if I want to. Isn't that cute? This really did turn out better than I thought. I did get some interest, some inspiration from Pinterest, so I'll give credit there. But I think it turned out cute. What do you think? Do you like this? What would you do differently? I think the kids are going to love it. As always, thanks for stopping by and crafting with me. I appreciate you coming back time after time to watch my videos. I'd love it if you subscribe if you like these types of videos. And I hope you come back. See you again soon. Bye.